So that's it. 60 minutes of the boil is up. Our final hop addition is some Fuggles here at Flame Out. And I will turn off the heat. So in the final part of the boil, I set up our chiller. And I'm going to use the chiller to chill down the BIAC to bring us down to pitching temperature. Um, normally I would use the garden hose, but there's a point where the garden hose, uh, the water temperature just isn't cold enough to get you that last little bit. So I thought, why not just use this from the beginning? I have it. Might as well just use it. So I will go about uh, changing around the wires and we'll get that started. And there we go. The ETC is going to tell the pump in the chiller to keep recirculating the cold water through the outside of the jacket and uh, the temperature should drop fairly rapidly. I'll get the rest of the stuff sanitized and we'll be ready to pitch the yeast. While this is chilling, I should also take a gravity reading. So we've pretty much reached our chill down temperature and now I'm going to drop the trub out of the bottom. Which is pretty easy. Uh, this valve at the bottom you just run it until it's clear. I'll get rid of that. So we are down to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, take the hop bundle out. So I didn't make a yeast starter, um, but I've got a couple of these Y yeast smack packs and I'm using a Y yeast 1318 London Ale 3. So uh, they've been in the sanitizer, obviously smacked, and uh, they've blown up quite well. So I'll cut the first one open. My scissors were in the sanitizer as well. And because I didn't make a starter, I'm going to pitch in two packages of yeast. So the lid's already been in sanitizer, and I just gave it a little bit of a spray. A little bit of spray around the lid, around the rim. And we put on the lid. I'm using a blow-off tube, so uh, it's into this bucket of sanitizer. And the end has been in the sanitizer, making sure everything's all nice and clean. Getting better with these tri clamps. They're still a little bit tricky. But I can almost do it one handed. And that's it. So I'll clamp the blow off tube into the uh, into the sanitizer. Temperature controller is is set to keep this around 68 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and uh, I guess I'll come back to this in about a week when we uh, when we keg it.